Hi, Cancer, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you. I'm going to ask for messages from the universe for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on for you, Cancer? There's some sort of transformation. It says, reach out for the power and strength to make changes. Enrich your life and become the person you want to be. You also have the card of change, assessing, and knowledge. Okay. Some of you definitely, I'm getting, you have the knowledge like to start a business. You have past experience. You could write an ebook. You could have, um, you definitely have something, knowledge about something that you can make a change. It could be a, a change in your job. Like maybe you want to move laterally. You want to do something different. Change. Assessing knowledge. You may hear something or read about something. It could actually be information coming to you that makes you, um, like think it's time for a change. Maybe you want to relocate, change what you're doing for a career. Four of Swords. You have the Justice card, the Three of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So maybe maybe dealing with someone who you're in a third party, or this person has a fear of um, relationships or commitment. So be aware of that. I get you're going to have a, a maybe, a, I don't want to say a breakdown, but a breaking point where you're just like, I'm done with this, I'm done with that, and I'm moving on, and I'm just like making some big changes here. So Five of Swords, High Priestess, the Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Someone is going to lose you is what I'm seeing here. But I think you put up with the situation long enough. It looks like it's love. Either they won't commit or they've had you in a third party. But when you go, which I see you leaving the situation or you've already left it, they actually really miss you. And they knew, they know they blew it because the two of cups are here in your energy with the three of cups. And then the two of cups are obviously here in the five of cups and they wouldn't commit and they have the 10 of swords with them. This is what you don't see. So they, so I'm thinking this transformation has already happened by you just stepping up and moving on or it's going to happen if you haven't done this yet you may hear something or find something out with the air spirit knowledge card um, it may be something you already know but now you have proof could be a libra also involved here wow this person okay so let me just say this this person who wouldn't commit who you might have given them an ultimatum and they still, they just were like, they still wouldn't take any action. So you left. This person is really out in the cold. So again, but that's part of their karma. That's part of their, that's why justice is here though. I feel like they made bad choices. They hurt you. They just, at some point didn't even care, but now it's coming back to kind of haunt them is what I'm seeing. Cause see the six of cups hits here with the 10 of swords. And they may reach out. They may with a page of coin here in the outcome. They may be an earth sign. What is this page of coin? Oh, that knight of wands energy. He was under the deck just a minute ago. I think they think about you a lot more than you realize. If you're trying to heal over the situation to move on and this person pops into your head, it's because they're thinking of you. They may even have like their phone in their hand and they're getting ready to text you. And then they put the phone down and they don't. That's what it kind of looks like here. Like they know maybe it's a lost cause. I'm hearing that song by Adele, we could have had it all, but you played it. Like this, the two of you had a lot going on in this connection, but they just couldn't commit. They couldn't leave the past. Now also, if they have children with a past person, that's probably why it is showing up here. But if they didn't, then they just couldn't, they just couldn't go. I get for some someone, it's their family. They didn't want to disappoint their family or they have a very religious family. What would this person say to cancer? I feel ashamed for how I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Hurting you hurt me even more. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. This is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could go back in time and I made so many bad mistakes. I hope we can have a do-over and I wish I could have been emotionally available to let you in. See, anytime you get like the Eight of Swords here, this is obviously someone who is a, has a fear of, you know, love, a fear of responsibility, a fear of commitment. They don't want to get hurt. It could be because of their own childhood wounds, the Six of Cups and the Ten of Swords, maybe where it started. But, and again, that may be why they're coming up as a page and a knight. But I think that you're going to see something, hear something, find something out that if this hasn't happened yet, you're going to be like, okay, this is done. I'm moving on. But just know this person misses you a lot. 
there was love here the two of cups is here this person loved being around you they did love you um they miss you five of coins terribly five of swords page of wands judgment nine of coins i think they think about reaching out to you again but they know that you are just you're not in the same league as them like you have ascended you're you're just you're the nine of coins and they know that you're not going to go backwards it's kind of what i'm picking up here we have the card of passion but you decided to make healthy choices they watch you with the sunglasses card they still have love for you they know you have other options with keys on a ring, but they might reach out. Let me see, lightning, the golden mirror. No, they still can't seem to get over themselves. It says one-sided relationship, love. Okay, they may love bomb you is what it may be. It says self-absorbed and narcissist. I, I mean, they could be. I'm not really getting that off of your reading, but I think it's more about like love bombing you. And in some cases, this was a one-sided relationship. I mean, it was like you were putting in the effort and they weren't. And they weren't making the move forward. It was only you. So what else would they say to you? Hang on, let me pull one other deck. They miss hearing your voice. So they miss talking to you. You inspire them. You speak to them through music. So you guys have songs. So they have been hearing those songs lately, thinking of you. I get if you get like a wave of sadness. Again, you're picking up their emotions. And maybe they're in their car, they hear a song that reminds them of you and all of a sudden it hits them that you're not coming back or the two of you are not going to be together. And it feels like they can't get enough of you. They've saved all your messages and your texts. Wow. This is someone for also for someone. I'm sorry, that came out wrong. But that this has happened, like this split happened like six months ago. And all of a sudden, it's like it's now coming up that it's really over. Sometimes even like relationships, you know, there's like a shock period. There's a period of like things aren't really sunk in. And then it's kind of like all of a sudden, I'm getting maybe because seasons are changing. They're going into like spring and summer and things are like, maybe you guys used to do special things during the summer, go on vacations, go places when it started heating up. Maybe there's something that's triggering them because I'm seeing like all of a sudden there's a trigger here for this person so it could actually be it could be them that all of a sudden they're realizing assessing realizing oh my gosh we this has changed it's done it's they're also seeing you have changed i feel like they look at you and they think like you're very attractive beautiful um, handsome smart you're very i heard the word loyal but you're also very independent so are they going to be doing anything is there anything we need to know are they going to be reaching out during retrograde that's some mystery. It says unknown, enigma, illusion, and confusing. I don't know if this person was confusing. Uh, they could be a Scorpio. This card is reminding me of Scorpio. Or could it have been something around Halloween, Halloween time? Or if they wait, they wear masks or something. Faded meeting, mystery, the truth. Mystery around a faded meeting, the truth. It was kind of like this was always meant to happen is what I'm getting. I don't get this as something new. I feel like this is the past. A mystery, like why did this happen? Why did the two of you meet? Confession, clarity, revealing secrets. You might, the person, you know what I get? Connect with me. I get this person is right now stalking or watching you. They could end up where you're at. Like it may look like it's a run-in, an accidental meeting, but I get they could try to run into you on purpose. Just FYI. This may not happen like this month or in May, but it, I'm getting summertime. Like, let's say you guys both go to the same place during the summer or something. They could be there. Like, they're already pre-planning it. This says, connect with me. This feels right. At a crossroads. Fluttering heart. Some of you could also be meeting an air sign around the month of October. That may be someone very significant in your life. So... But for most of you, because under the deck it says anxiety, I feel like this person really misses you. Feeling anxious, thinking about maybe trying to talk to you again, see you again right now. They're trying to figure out if they should, though, crossroads. Should they give it one more chance? Should they reach out? So, all right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Have a great week.